I'm Zach Cabal, singer, songwriter, guitar player extraordinaire. Zach Cabal music on the social media. There'll be links down below uh, to Facebook and Instagram, and then I'm also going to link to my Spotify where you can listen to the song Wandering Soul if you haven't already, uh, Greasy Spoon Saga, and Incident on Elizabeth Street. And I am releasing a song a month for all of 2020, so you'll definitely want to follow me on social media to keep up with that. There might be similar videos to this. Um, what I'm doing today is I'm going to break down, I'm going to teach you the guitar solo to Wandering Soul because there's lots of useful licks in there, especially if you're an intermediate, maybe beginner guitar player. It's super easy, super quick solo. Um, but I'm going to talk a bit about the creative process with it. So um, I knew I was doing a pop song and I had most of the song written. I had obviously the lyrics and stuff like that and I was working on arranging uh, the music for it and so I knew it needed to have a guitar solo. And I didn't want to do anything super flashy. I wanted to keep it simple. And I, I describe myself as a blues guitar player so everything I do guitar wise is filtered through that blues lens. And so what ended up happening was is I had a blues guitar solo inside of a pop song. Um, Look out, John Mayer, I'm coming for you, buckaroo. Um, and it ended up being super hip, um, and I was really pleased with the results. Um, so um, before we get into any of that, I'm gonna just break down the gear I used on the actual recording and what I'm using right now. So this is the actual guitar that I actually used on the actual recording, actually. It's a Chapman ML3 Pro Traditional. Um, it's a great T-style guitar. Um, if you have a Telecaster, it's probably gonna work just as good. Uh, Stratocaster, you name it, anything with single coils um, is going to be great for this. Um, I'm running through a Fender Blues Junior um, 1x12 combo amp. On the board, I'm using the Dane by Thorpe, Thorpe FX, uh, the Danish Pete signature guitar pedal. I'm using the boost side for the rhythm section, so the backing track. And then the guitar solo, I'm flipping to neck position here, and I'm running the drive side without the boost on it uh, with gain about nine o'clock. Um, the opening you just heard there, I was looping the rhythm section through my Boss RC3 loop station, and then the drums and bass you heard there were the uh, Digitech Trio band. Um, so the backing track, um, if you will, the rhythm section of the song is pretty straightforward. So you're thinking that the, the song is in D major, um, but I'm actually going from the five chord to the uh, four chord to the six minor chord, back to the five chord. Um, so it's sort of like Grateful Dead fans are going to recognize that. Super hip. And then the last go round of that, I'm just hitting that cowboy D chord. Very cool. Um, so now when it comes to the solo itself, um, it's going to be in the F sharp minor pentatonic again. I'm thinking blues guitar player. Um, or you can also think of it as box five of the A major pentatonic. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to zoom in now and I'm going to walk you through lick by lick the guitar solo. Okay, so let's go through this just real quick. It's super simple. Um, you're thinking box one, F sharp minor pentatonic, right, with the uh, parent key sort of being A, D major sort of a thing. And um, so that's just real quick, box one F sharp minor pentatonic is here on the 14th, all the way to 17th there. And so you're gonna start here on the G string with the 14th and 16th fret, and you're gonna nudge, nudge, hammer on, 14, 14, nudge. Okay, I'll do that again. Nudge, nudge, hammer on, 14, 14, nudge. Um, you just, and by nudge, I mean you are bending it, but you're not bending it like, like you would, uh, like later on in the solo. Just super micro bend. That's it. It's a, a sort of like a cool Albert King lick there. Like if I was playing with my thumb or something, like. It would be a sort of an Albert King thing. So the next thing, it goes straight into the premier blues lick. Like rock and blues lick. Like you can't, you can't not know this. Pardon the double negative. So this one on the 16th is going to be a whole tone bend, and then it's going to go, right? So whole tone bend on 16, 14 on the B, 14 on the high E. Okay, super cool. Right? Then you're going to pull off on 17, on to 14 again. 
and do a cool like, I don't know, maybe like a Stevie Ray Vaughan. All right. Or like that's like vultures, like John Mayer, he does that there. So all together you've got. And don't forget, after you do that pull off, you're just walking up that pentatonic. Next section, the, probably the easiest section, because it's all chord tones. So um, you're thinking right here, that a, uh, E shaped A chord there, and you're just taking your index finger there on 17, ring finger there on 19. That's it. The next section here is uh, what I stole from Jimi Hendrix from The Wind Cries Mary. So that's going to be here on 17 with your ring middle finger there. Oh! There. Then index finger on 16. Then you're going to hammer on to 18. And you're going to try and reach there with your pinky. Maybe it's easier for your ring finger. Depends on the player. And then you're going to come all the way back to the 10th fret because that's that D chord. So, and that is the Wandering Soul guitar solo. So all together now. And have a little confidence there. And that's the Wandering Soul guitar solo.